Hey guys, the evening has not started off well at all. It has been super, super quiet. It is Friday night. Fridays are usually pretty good. It is the holiday weekend, so hopefully your Friday night went a lot better than mine. Um, and then, have you guys been seeing like super low offers coming in as well? Um, here's a few that I've gotten. $3, 2.4 miles, that's an absolute no. You don't even gotta take a second look at that. That is just way, way too low. And then another one that I got, $2.75 for 4.6 miles. Absolutely not. Um, yeah, just super, super low offers, really quiet. Um, I took a spin, finally got something somewhat decent to take $10 for 3.2 miles. Now it is two pickups um, for the same customer, which is super nice. Um, so the first pickup is going to be for Baja Fresh. I am here right now. And then I got to go to 7-Eleven. Let me know how your guys' Friday went since it is the holiday weekend. If you drove, if not, hopefully you went and enjoyed yourself. Um, I'm driving tonight, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully things might pick up a little bit later. I don't know. We're going to find out, but we're going to go get this order. Charlie H. Picking up for Charlie H with DoorDash. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, guys, the restaurant was super, super dead. My food was ready, so all is good, except I'm heading to the car and it hit me. I forgot to put my hot bags back in the car, but I always bring like this little bag. It's, you can put food in. It's kind of like a miniature hot bag, or if you have something cold, I usually keep my water or snacks in it, uh, which is right here. So the customer's food's in it right now. I don't know if I'll be able to make it home to get my hot bags. If I can, I will. If I can't, then I can't. Um, I have this to, uh, I guess, improvise for the moment, but we're on the way to 7-Eleven to go get the next order. Six minutes, 1.7 miles. Thank you. Awesome, thank you very yeah, much. My pleasure, have a good one. You too. Got the 7-Eleven order, so it looks like they just wanted a drink to go with their meal as well as some red vines. I guess that's their dessert. Um, so we are on our way and I didn't even hit directions yet. Three minutes of 1.2 miles, we're on our way. I dropped the order off to the customer, the 7-Eleven in the Baja Fresh. And I don't have this happen too often to where the customer orders from a restaurant and 7-Eleven or you know two restaurants and it's the same drop off. So I go, I take my picture and I get back in the car looking at my phone and it wants another picture. I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about it. Got out of the car, took another picture, but completely threw me off for a moment because I'm like, what the heck? Um, but yeah, you gotta take a picture for both the Baja Fresh and the 7-Eleven. Wish it was just one picture, make it a lot more simpler because I had to get back out of my car. Anyways, after I dropped that order off, I got an offer from Uber Eats, two pickups for $6.04 for 2.2 miles. It was for Taco Bell. That was a no-go for me. Um, and then Uber Eats sent me an offer, a backwards offer, $5.67 for 6.1 miles. That was a no. Then they wanted to send me another one. I hadn't heard from DoorDash after I dropped that last order off. $6 for 7.1 miles. Another absolutely not. Then Spark came through. $16.88, 3.5 miles. It is two orders, um, but they are what seems to be minimal items. So I am here right now. I'm going to go over there and check in. It says it's ready. Um, there is about four cars over there. So hopefully it doesn't take too long to get my stuff. Uh, we shall find out. I'm going to go check in. 
All right, guys, it took about 14 minutes for me to get my order. So like I said, there was like four cars when I pulled up and I was like the fifth. All four cars were gone. Another car pulled up. They got loaded up and I'm still sitting here getting real concerned. They leave. So I grab the employee and ask him, you know, to check on my order because I'd been sitting here for a bit and I want to make sure that I'm in the system. There's no glitch or anything like that because as soon as he leaves, I'm just going to be sitting here. I'd have to call. So he checked. He said they were prepping my order and it should be right out. And sure enough, they ended up coming back out with my order. So I'm loaded up. So the other thing is they got rid of plastic bags in my area. Some of you guys that drive in this area know that. And you guys may be aware of the paper bags that they are now putting the items in, which look like this. They're about this size. Um, yeah, we'll see how they hold up in the rain. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy we got bags. Um, but yeah, so far they've worked out, you know, the, the handle's been a little concern for me, uh, but I've had some heavy things. There's like ice cream and yogurts in this bag. The handles haven't broke on me yet. So of course, you know, it's a little concerning with the rain and the handles and stuff. Um, but I am happy that they did find a paper bag, a recyclable bag that we can use or the customer can reuse. So that's what we're using now for our items. And uh, same thing when I do in-store shopping, they have these bags now with the handles, which are nice because prior when I did the in-store shopping, they were just the regular paper bags with no handles. I do prefer them with handles. So if you are using these paper bags let me know how you feel about them again i'm glad i have something <laughs> rather than nothing but let's go get these orders dropped off and uh see what else tonight brings us hi there <laughs> Just need a quick signature right. from you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank awesome. You so much. You're very welcome. I can hand these to you. There's that one. That one. Awesome. And a little bit heavier one. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> Thanks. Bye bye. All right, the house orders dropped off. I gave the doorbell a ring. There was a signature that needed to be done. Um, customer came to the door quickly, which is always appreciated. Uh, one of the bags had like uh, pasta sauce and stuff in it, so it's a little bit heavier. So all is good. Next drop off is the apartment. Four minutes, 1.8 miles. Now they did leave some notes, which is very appreciated. I know all of you guys could agree on that. It's an apartment. I guess it's harder to find. Um, so they gave some notes of how to find their apartment, which is super helpful and very much appreciated. We're on our way. Last Spark orders dropped off and thank goodness for their notes because as soon as I pulled in, I seen exactly what they're talking about. I could not find where their building was because it was blocked by trees and shrubs and everything. So with their instructions, I was able to locate it, got a little bit closer, could confirm the building and their apartment number. So it went smooth, thankfully, because of their notes. So after I dropped that off, Spark sent me another offer, $25.29. Of course, that sounds good, but it was in another city and this city was probably like 20 minutes then after i got the order be like 10.2 miles which is totally not worth it so i just passed that up and then uber eats came in three dollars 65 cents for 2.2 miles the pay is way too low miles are nice if the pay was higher but that's not the case for that offer then i got a trip radar and like i said i've been checking out the trip radar because once in a while there'll be a really good offer in there and i was actually right by this restaurant it was for a uh, Chipotle, $6.04 for 1.3 miles. Super good offer. Again, I'm like really close to the restaurant. I tap on it and then it tells me another driver matched it. And I'm like, what is the other driver like in Chipotle? <laughs> Cause I was right by it. So I was like bummed out about that. Um, Cause I was trying to get another offer lined up. Then DoorDash came through for Chipotle, $7.88 for 3.6 miles. Miles are a little bit higher, but I'm here and we're gonna go get it and uh, go get it dropped off. We're heading in.
right, guys, I go inside Chipotle. There's people standing around. It looks super short staffed. I only see one employee bringing orders from the back. I had to use the restroom, so I went and used the restroom. Come back out, check the shelf. My order is not on there. Not surprised. So I'm standing there waiting with the rest of the people that are waiting for their orders. Here comes an employee with a couple bags. Now, it would have been nice of the employee to call out the names that are on the bags. There's a lot of people standing around waiting for their orders. And of course, what is everybody gonna do? They're gonna go to the shelf, trying to see if their order's there. Um, yeah, it would have been nice if they called out the names because one of the orders was actually mine, which was nice, but um, somebody was really frustrated because she was shaking her head. Um, sounds like she's been there for a bit, which can be super frustrating. Um, yeah, this location is known for being short staffed, so no surprise there, but we're gonna go get this order Order dropped off nine minutes 3.3 miles <laughs> Hi. Hi. There you are. Thank you. It's also a package right there. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys. The Chipotle order was a hand it to me. And I had messaged the customer that I'm on my way, you know, give them a heads up. And so I get there and I ring the doorbell. They have a ring doorbell so they can see me. And I'm standing there, I hear the dogs barking. And you know, sometimes the hand it to me's, they just never answer. You can hear them at the door, like they're looking at you through the people. And I'm hearing the dogs, nothing, nothing. They got a ring doorbell, <laughs> let her know I'm on my way. So I'm going to set the order down. There's like a, a bench, you know, next to the door, there's a package there. So I was about to set the order down and then she answers the door. I'm like, okay, <laughs> give her the order. So um, yeah, that happens, but it was like, maybe she was sleeping, I don't know. Anyways, orders dropped off. The night has been okay. Um, not bad at all. It kind of picked up at first when I started completely slow. A ton of those low, low paying offers. Of course, you get them here and there. It comes with the territory. Let me know if you guys have been seeing more of those, how things have been going for you guys. Are you guys noticing a slowdown at all or things still doing good for you guys? Let me know. But I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys right here. Always really appreciate you guys riding along with me and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Bye guys.